Hey guys, I'm H here, and uh, today I'll be reviewing, not really Nerf, it's um, X-Shot Pink Series Angel Fire Bow and Arrow Blaster. Here, right here. Let me just adjust the camera. Alright, no, is that better? I don't know. Kind of, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's much better. Alright. So, let's unbox this thing, and I'll give you a review and a firing test. I can't really go outside with firing, firing test because it's raining right now. Okay, so you, there's two pieces of tape, which you need to cut to get into your precious excess pink bow. Normally, I would just rip it out of the but I want to be gentle today because I don't feel like ripping it out. So you just cut those two pieces of tape, and you lift this flap up, and then you just pull it out. Okay, and now that this is empty, we're on that side. And this is what you're left with. You got zip ties at the back, so you have to cut. <sighs> so hard. <sighs> so hard, Jesus Christ. You know what? Let's flip this around. That's two. What oh, is this if you want to end? Okay, that's all of it. All of it. This is the actual bow. Now there's also the arrows and this connect piece that you need to pull out. This part can just be ripped off by sheer force, I hope. <coughs> or not. So here's the connect piece, and let's get the arrows. I'm going to be very gentle with this, I don't want to cut these. Sorry guys, sitting through this, me unboxing things is quite boring, but, <coughs> oh well, that's the nature of this, I mean, I'm sure most of you had, I'm sure, including me, I'm sure most of you had to sit through someone unboxing something like this on their channel. But again, I have to, I, I, I'll admit, this was actually quite boring, even when it's me doing it, alright, so the arrows are out, and the box is empty now, see for that side. There is a little bit of assembly required, but let's just take a look at the bow before we do this first. So, this is actually a really nice bow. The trigger here, like, how this works is you just pull it back, and then you just shoot, and then you have to push it forward manually. I'll, I'll talk about more about that in the um, review. So, this, this is a connect piece, which it really actually allows you to slide the missiles on, which is actually a really tight fit, actually. Oh, God, I'm bending the missile already. Like that. And then when you put it back, you can shoot the arrow. So I'm just going to screw this on. <coughs> right, so that's on. So now all you got to do is put an arrow on, pull it back, and hit the trigger. Oh, I think you can do it. So let me just put an arrow on. Yeah. I think you can do this, if you don't want to like push it forward, you can just like pull back, and then pull that. I just kind of. I'm not used to this thing. Let me just... Now let's get on to the review of the gun. <coughs> it's a bow. Which is... Kind of cool. Um... Let's go over some features that this gun has, this bow has. It has bow arms, which are super duper flexy. I wish I could just like take these off right now because they're not useful at all. This elastic here, it's not useful at all. What, what's really powering the gun is that this draw here is actually pulling back a spring. And so basically if you cut these, these strings and take off this black part and this black part, the whole thing will still work. Let's go over some pros and cons. Pros is that it looks really cool and 
that trigger is actually um, pretty comfy and the handle is, not, is too is kind of big so that it fits my hand pretty well so yeah it actually has a pretty tight barrel fit for not barrel fit but for fit for these arrows so it's like BRB. All right, sorry guys, I just had something to do. So let's get back onto the re under review. You know, I feel I feel it's on the cons. Cons is that when you pull back, you shoot. You have to push it back yourself, and then you can prime again, which is really bad. These cams here are pretty useless. They're not really useful at all because this is not powering any of the power. Like just use it like that. So you can literally just cut that off and it will still work. Which is probably what I'm gonna do very soon. Now the range is not particularly good either. Because it just isn't. <laughs> what else could you expect from me? And Yeah, I mean that's it. Now I'm just gonna do a quick firing test, just fire at the door. I don't see why not. So let me just Set the camera a bit of an angle. So load arrow. Pull back. Shoot. Push it in. Load arrow. Pull back. Shoot. Push it in. Now my final opinion on this, you should definitely get this if you're a, if you're a, if you're a modder, then you can like just drill out this thing across here and then you can just like make it um, shoot elite darts, mega darts, but if you want to buy this performance, I would not buy this, my, well, I could do a quick mod right now, <coughs> it's not going to be cut, Right, let me just cut it right at the seam. There it is, cut now. I'll just do, I'll just do this and then... Oh. Come back. So now that the strings are cut, I feel like this is going to look much better now because the strings are really useless. Yep. I wish, in the mod guy, I'm probably going to fix this problem. Most likely we'll fix that. So let's just, yeah, that came up wrong, but okay. So that's been the review on the Angel Fire Bow and Arrow Blaster. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.